Your iPhone 12 mini has a cracked display or the touch doesn't work properly anymore. In this repair video, we show you how you can easily replace the display on your own. Replacing the display of the iPhone 12 mini is relatively easy, since only a few parts have to be removed. Therefore, plan about 45 to 60 minutes for your repair. For the repair of the iPhone 12 mini, you need the following tools. In addition, the following tools can be helpful. All tools and a replacement display of the highest possible quality can be found in our online store at adoc.eu. You can find the links in the info box. If you got stuck at any point, feel free to write your question in the comments. Our support team is always happy to help. In addition to our repair video, you will also find a detailed photo tutorial on our website. You will find the link in the info box below. Switch off your iPhone 12 mini first to avoid short circuits during the repair. To do so, press the side and silent key simultaneously for a few seconds. The iPhone 12 mini is opened via the display, which is heavily glued and additionally fixed with screws. To detach the display, you first have to loosen the two pantalip screws that are located on the left and right of the lightning connector. Then use a heat gun or a regular hairdryer to heat the glued display edge. We were surprised how strongly the display is stuck. You should therefore heat it for a relatively long time. As soon as you have warmed up the glue sufficiently, you can lift the display up. Either attach a suction cup or the ice clack on the lower display edge to create a narrow gap between the display and the case unit. Be careful not to burn your fingers on the heated display. Enlarge the gap with a flat, stable tool like the iFlex. The particularly sharp edges make it easier to insert. To prevent the glue from reconnecting at the loosened spots, you should push flat plastic picks under the edge of the display at regular distances. Reheat the display at the spot where you are working on and run your tool around the edge of the display to loosen it piece by piece from the rest of the rear case. Since you can easily scratch the metal frame of your device with the sharp edges of the iFlex, we recommend that you continue with the plastic tool as soon as possible. We can recommend a hard plastic pick for this purpose. The pointed, flattened corners can be easily inserted under the display. At the same time, the compact shape allows you to apply enough force to pry the display out of the rear case piece by piece. Once the display is completely detached, you can carefully flip it open towards the volume keys. The display cables are still connected and have to be disconnected. To avoid overstretching the cables, you should lean the display against a stable object. The connectors of the two display cables, as well as the battery connector, lie under two screwed cover plates. To be able to separate the connectors from the logic board, you have to loosen the plates with a Y-type screwdriver first. To prevent a potential short circuit, you should always separate the exposed battery connector in the first place. To do so, carefully drive a spatter underneath the connector and lever it off the logic board. Do the same to separate the two display connectors. You can then put the display aside. The sensors for Face ID are integrated via a sensor cable on the earpiece. Therefore, you have to take over the earpiece from your old display to continue using the function. To remove the earpiece, including the sensor cable, you first have to unscrew the two Phillips and two Y-type screws that secure the module. Fold the detached earpiece around and use a flat, sturdy tool like the steel spatula to carefully lever the sensors from the guides. Be especially careful not to damage the sensitive sensors. Position the earpiece in the replacement display and press the sensors back into their guides. Make sure that the sensors are all seated evenly. Then flip the earpiece around and fix it with the screws.
Once everything is installed, we recommend connecting the replacement display provisionally to test its functionality. Lean the display against a stable object and press the connectors onto the logic board. The battery connector last. Then carefully fold the display around. Do not press it tight yet. Turn on your device and drag an app across the screen to check if the touch responds everywhere and no pixel errors are displayed. After that, also test if Face ID still works properly after checking over the earpiece. If something does not work or doesn't work as it should, check again if everything is connected and screwed correctly. If everything is ok, you can open the display again and insert the cover plates. The screw holes help you with the alignment. Screw the cover plates back in place with the Y-type screws. To close your iPhone 12 mini again, press the display back into the case unit so that it sits evenly everywhere. Additionally, you can heat the display edge again and weigh it down with something heavy for approximately half an hour. Fix the display with the pantalip screws at the end of the repair. I hope the display of your iPhone 12 mini is now shining again. If this tutorial helped you, then give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to never miss any tutorials and videos about smartphones. High quality tools, spare parts and accessories for your smartphone repair can be found in our online store at iDoc.eu. iDoc – everything for your smartphone. Find more helpful videos here. See you next time!